This is Uncle Terry Shep. You might have seen him before in many of my videos. He's a very wise man. Sometimes he's incredibly wise. And as you, <laughs> as you guys know, I'm a big fan of this here Roland Cube ADXL. I want to thank Roland from the bottom of my heart for supplying me with this fantastic amplifier. Um, <laughs> did that again, did that again, that was really nice, that was nice. Oh, that's good. If only you were, you know, large breasted. Naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, we, uh, I've been playing this amazing Hushmeet Albino Droid um, that I purchased um, and got today. And I was putting it through the cube uh, just to show Terry how it sounds through a digital amplifier. And Terry said, Oi, Why mate. don't you link it into your Marshall Force that? Hmm, this 412 right here. And I thought, you're talking crazy talk, Terry. No, no, no. Crazy no. talk. You couldn't put a road cube through a 412 and make it sound good. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You're quite right. Then what we did was this. We took a line out from this line out place here and put it in the hole in the back of this thing here. It all matches up. And how does it sound? Fucking amazing. <laughs> So here, I'm just going to back, I'm using the uh, Dyna amp mode by the way, all the gain is in, there's a tiny bit of delay, not a lot of delay, a little bit of spring reverb, lots of presence and treble because it's, I like to have a bit of top end in my sound. Don't we all do? <laughs> Set this out. Suddenly it becomes twice as an amazing package because every venue has four tiles ready for you. You know, you can take this around, do small gigs, and then whack it through one of these bad boy beasts. If I back off the gain to half, here's all the gain now at half, yeah? Obviously you can use foot switches for this, but, I, you know, I'm not really bothered. Let's crack the volume up a bit. Oh, a bit less than that, maybe. See, what you don't get now is that issue with digital heads where if you crank them in a little cabinet, it doesn't sound right, you know, this is... <laughs> just, <laughs> just sonic awesomeness. That will probably just destroy the mic and the camera, but it was a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say that to the, the boys and girls on YouTube, Terry, that won't be good. You can edit it out. I can edit that bit out. That's what I'll do. I'll, let, I'll edit that bit out with an explosion. Like this one. And, uh, and that one. A big difference. Yeah, I it think, does. To, you know that that sort of bass sound, just moving it. You know that much changed it into to quite a different sort of. It makes a big sound difference. Altogether. Uh, yeah. Volume, doesn't it? I yeah. think it just goes to show that when they're <laughs> testing these, they're clearly playing them at volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. To get anyway, just we just set up a 
a master of puppets tone. We've got this set to rectifier, uh, as you can see here, all the gain, not that much volume, but it's loud because it's going through 412. <laughs> so Terry's just going to film this. We haven't got it, hopefully this will come through on the, um, the camera mic. <laughs> I'm so glad we found that out. <laughs>